most of the time when it comes to camera gear and when putting camera gear together, you usually find that you have to get a multitude of different tools in order to actually use them correctly, like an L key or a screwdriver or a tiny little coin to fix the end of it. Most of the time the companies provide these tools, but what do you do in the case in the future when you don't have those tools anymore? Hey guys, what's up? It's Real with Grizz Media and today we're going to be covering, and today I'm reviewing the Andy Cine Multi-Tool Functional Kit. So Andy Cine actually reached out to me and uh, they decided they wanted me to go ahead and review this. No money was exchanged for this review and they don't get to see this video before it gets released. So whatever I say now is my 100% pure honest opinion on this product. With that being said, let's get started with the review. Not only is it really small, but it also weighs 80 grams, so it's not actually a really heavy thing to carry around with you. So the different tools that come with this thing are a screwdriver, different size L keys, and a multifunctional um, band, which I usually use for putting for putting off the base plates off of most of my camera cages and putting it onto other base plates of other cages. If you guys are familiar with camera cages, you know that at the bottom of the camera cage, there comes a little screw with a little line in the middle of it. And usually what you have to do to get that out is get a quarter or maybe get something else that's really skinny in order to budge that. Well, with this tool, it comes really easy. You have it right there, just unscrew it and then you'll have, you'll be good to go. I find that I was using this really well when I was setting up the cage for the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro. What I found is that it was actually really simple and really easy for me to use because I had all the different L keys and didn't have to go look for an L key that I had back then. One thing that I didn't like about it is that it's pretty bulky, so if you're trying to use the L key in narrow spaces, you're gonna have a little trouble with that. Not only that, but you can actually fit this in any camera cage, any pocket, any, any camera tool, any camera bag that you have, you just slide it right in and you have yourself a multi-tool setup that you can use on the go, especially when you're in, especially when you're in, uh, especially when you're on shoot, you don't want to be asking the guy next to you, yo bro, you, you want, you don't want to be asking the guy next to you, if they have an extra quarter that just makes you look unprofessional. And not only that, it also makes you look like you actually know what you're doing. If you go ahead and use this thing instead of grabbing somebody's coin. I've done that before. Now let's go ahead and get to the price of this thing. This thing is $20 on Amazon. And for that price, I think you're getting what you're worth. You will never ever have to buy another one of these again, and you will never have to buy more L keys, more screwdrivers, or you won't have to go ahead and go through your coins. It's kind of like a one-time investment that once you have it, you don't really have to buy it again. And I think it's really good to have in any arsenal, especially if you're a cinematographer, or just need something that has a lot of L keys or screwdrivers on hand. I would recommend this to anybody who has a cinema cage or anything that has to do with camera gear because this has your needs tailored for you. If you don't, then I recommend maybe perhaps checking something else, maybe something just like a regular screwdriver, maybe another multi-tool setup, um, just because there's only L keys in here and there's only one size screwdriver. There will be a link down in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. And uh, yeah, and hopefully you guys enjoy the uh, camera setup for Bernard. or the Blackmagic 6K Pro. It looks really nice with the cage. Um, you guys can't see it, but it looks really, really nice. Um, so there will be new videos to come about that. But anyway, that's it. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like, make sure to subscribe button, turn on post notifications, leave a comment down below on what you would use this tool for. And I'll see you on the next video. It's Rigo with Grace Media signing off. Peace out guys.